So today we're using basic galaxy colors, white, blue, black, pink, and purple. So here I'm going to use the flip cup technique. Flip it over, let it sit for a minute. I'm going to take some water, spray it around the edges to get the paint to move a little bit. And then we'll see what happens from there. Every time it's an adventure. So I'll move the paint around to, to get it to where I want it. Looks like there's a little too much white right there. So I'm going to add some more black. There's a lot of black in space, so a little pink, purple, some more black randomly. And try again to move around to see if it's the right way I want it. So I think that's about where I want it, right there. So now I'll take some rainbow colored resin glitter, super fine, and give the paint a little bit interest, give it a little sparkle. So now I'll let the painting dry for about an hour or two and then put it on the easel and start the space exploration. So now that the painting is dried, I'm going to take a stencil I made myself with a circle cutter and some watercolor paper, repositional adhesive on the back. And instead of airbrushing, I'm going to dry brush it on. So I'm just going to take some white paint and gently dry brush it around the edges of the stencil there. I'm kind of rushing here, but if you take your time, you can really get it feathered in nicely. This is just for demonstration purposes. So basically you just scrub it in and there you go. I'll put it back on and then I'm going to add some black on the outside. After it's dried, you can glaze over that white with watered down blue or any color you want, it'll give the same effect as airbrush.
So this is a new stencil I got, kind of trippy looking. I'll just put it in that corner and see how it turns out. I'm using transparent white right now. It gives it kind of like a bubbly space effect. So here I'm just putting some stars in different areas of the canvas. Just random. You can use a dry brush technique and make little dry brush circles and then glaze over them with some watered down paint to give them some color. So I got some transparent purple here and I'm going to glaze it over some of the white areas to give it some color. You can also do that with watered down purple. Just water down your paint and feather it and glaze over the top of the white. It'll give a nice transparent look. So now for some more stars using a toothbrush and some watered down white paint putting it all over the canvas in the right hand corner I'm going to make like a little starburst You can use a hand shield to protect the planet from stars or any over spray of the stars. Just move it around the outside. Try not to get it on the planet. So here's where I'm going to concentrate the stars in one area in that corner. Just make a giant cluster of stars. It gives some interest to the canvas. Unlike oils, acrylic paint, you can actually take a hair dryer, which I'm doing here, and quickly drying the paint so you can continue painting different objects without getting any on your hands or anything. Here is some bright blue I'm going to put in the airbrush. It's transparent and kind of randomly go over the different areas. So now I'll take some fluorescent pink and add some pink to different areas. So you can do the same thing with acrylic paint watered down. I use an airbrush because I'm kind of impatient. I think too fast. But if you really take your time, you can actually do the same thing. So here I'm adding some bright white stars again. You have the deep blue stars in the background and the brighter stars in the foreground. So you have like a two dimensional look here. And 
Now I'm going to highlight some of the stars with some bright white and just go around the canvas and add some stars here and there. Now I'm taking some more bright white and just giving the stars a little bit more light. So I'll call it quits on this one. I think it's done, but you can always come back and add more things later if you see some more spots you missed or you just want to add some different things. The painting is never really done. Thank you guys.